Well, here we've got what's considered by many people to be the ugly duckling of the accordion world here. Um, but inside, we've got a beautiful swan. We've got double double tone chamber um, with three sets of reeds, um, double octave tuning, and handmade reeds, which are some of the best vintage reeds you can get. Um, and, you know, on the outside, we've got all the electronics. Um, we don't have a, a unit to test them, but presumably they would work if you had the, the, the proper... Uh, set up, um, or they could be converted to MIDI or removed. Um, uh, it's common for people to remove them to, to make the, the accordion lighter and get more of that acoustic sound out without being blocked by the electronics. Um, um, what these offer is a very good keyboard. I've got the double chambered sound and the handmade reeds. Um, really, uh, you know, excellent kind of sound quality, and uh, these are relatively affordable for double chambered instruments. Uh, we've got seven side switches here which toggle the reeds. The first one is a mute, doesn't do anything. Then we've got our clarinet. Then we've got our bandonian. The next one, actually that's our clarinet, the other one was bassoon. That's our piccolo. And that's our master with three reeds. So you got two in the chamber, the LM and the high on the outside. On the bass, we've got four sets of reeds and two, three switches, master, and then a mute at the bottom. So the mute basically just acts as a um, way to mute that if you're using the accordion electronics. Um, so a lot of potential here. I'll play something so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> 